Hi guys, how are you doing today? My name is Kidney J. The J stands for a jerk because my kidneys are a pair of jerks. And what we're looking at now is some culinary delights from Candy Hungry Fat Chick, Candy Godiva. Uh, what you're seeing there with the bread is actually a Sarah Lee low carb bread, uh, just in case you were wondering because people were giving her a hard time about that. But we are going to... Um, well, I chopped up this video. It was about 31 minutes. So feel free to go over to her channel and watch the whole thing. It is called Pre-Diabetic and Making Excuses Again, Asterisk. Is it time to go back to the circus? So if you wanna go ahead and watch the full version there, you can, but of course, Pre-Diabetic caught my caught my eye so we're gonna hear what she has to say about that uh before we do don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you're new appreciate that leave a comment down below and i do have memberships linked down below uh different tiers if you want to support the channel that way so let's hear what candy has to say now we did have the timestamp. there we go uh so i did this thing today Cheers. And Susan asked me, she says, are you sure you want to share that with uh, your people? And I was like, you know what? You know, we're 100% uh, transparent here. <laughs> as You know, I say 100%. Well, you know, it's as much as I think to share. You know, I, I don't set out to hide anything. And it's just. Okay. And I've always said this, and I stand by it, I do believe Candy is transparent with her audience and shares a lot of stuff, um, you know, within reason. Like, we're, we don't need to know, like, the consistency of your boogers or anything like that, but she is um, pretty open with her audience, and I, I still stand by that. If I forget this or that, you know, that's just, you know, I'm just forgetful as hell. But anyway, I did this thing. Out of curiosity, on Amazon the other day, I went and I got this. It's a, uh, and I don't know if it's backwards. It's probably backwards because I'm on my phone, but it's this Kersen's Felice Blood Glucose Monitoring System. And uh, when I got up this afternoon, um, fasted and everything, I went ahead and I tested my blood sugar. Uh, blood glucose, whatever. And um, supposedly, or according to Google <laughs> and different sites for diabetes and all this stuff, it says that between 70 and 100 on the meter is uh, normal. Uh, I think between 100 and 125 is pre-diabetes and 125 and above is diabetes. Well... I did mine and I'll put it on screen now. Okay, so 105. So technically I am, well not just technically, but obviously I am pre-diabetic. Um, Burp. Okay, let's uh, that's a, put on the brakes there, Candy. I'm not saying she is pre-diabetic. I'm not saying she's not pre-diabetic. But, and she is staunchly against visiting a doctor. You do, do need more than just one random fasting glucose test to say you are pre-diabetic. Um, usually there are three tests. Uh, you do an A1C, which I've talked about a lot, which is your average blood sugar over three months. Also, they can do a two-hour glucose, oral glucose test, which I've had, not fun. You have to down uh, 75 grams of sugar in this drink, and they test your blood sugar before and after and see how your body uses the glucose and how well your insulin response is. Um, those are some other testing for pre-diabetes. Pre now, risk factors ching, 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 ding, 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 whatever. She does have, you know, a lot of the factors, um, overweight, over age 45, um, 
if you have a parent or a sibling who's type 2 diabetic, your risk um, as well increases. Now, all my diabetic bays out there, that glucose monitor, is it good? She gets into some like um, testing stuff. Let's hear what she has to say there. But it was the first test I've taken on the machine and I didn't do the, the they had the solution thing. I, I didn't realize that I was supposed to do this first. It's like a, um, it's like a test, like a pre-test test to see if the meter's working correctly or whatever, but I did not do that. I just, this was just the first time using the machine. So that was the first reading I got. I'm gonna try it again tomorrow, fasted, like right when I wake up and, you know, see if it's still in that range, but you know. So she didn't do the, the control. Um, another way if your like monitors acting funky is you bring it into your doctor and they can tell you, um, compare it to like a lab result, but she doesn't go to the doctor, so that's not gonna happen. That's the way it goes. <laughs> oh, at least it's on the low, low end of prediabetes, but you know. So I get my um, fasting sugar tested all the time monthly when I do my monthly blood work. Mine's usually about 4.4, 4.6, um, which is like 80, 90-ish if you, uh, to get an idea. Keep in mind, Pink Fairy people, her fasting is 190. So, eek. Uh, so there's that I've got, you know, to think about at this point, as well as every other thing to do with my health, which is, you know, where my focus is right now. Ooh, I've been burning the hell out of some incense. Uh, this is the mindful. Mm. Ooh, yes. There we go. I have a nice little incense burner thingy that I got. I put this little thing in the middle. Um. I don't know, I just like to meditate. You know, meditate on life and what I'm trying to do to improve myself and improve my life. Um, and I just find that I focus on important things like that when I light a couple of sticks of incense in a day. Oh, Candy, my little Virgo sister and meditation. So she gave me an opportunity here to do my meditation spiel, which I haven't done in a long time. I do meditate and it's not some like weird, you know, um, like practice. I don't even light incense. It's just, you know, turn all your devices off, take like five minutes, 10 minutes, focus on your breath in and out. Um, just to ground you, it helps you noticeably over time. Uh, throughout the day and making decisions, not sort of pouncing, not quick to anger. Uh, just, you know, get get right within your mind, spend time with within yourself and you'll see, you'll see things happen. I promise. But uh, anyway, that's, that's kind of how my week's been going. I've just been, you know, I, I have to say I've been struggling a little bit because those pretzels really like messed me up with the sugar. Oh yeah, that was her bad thing. She had pretzels. I uh, stepped on the scale yesterday, and I put on two pounds from Friday. Um, so we didn't cover that, but she was 402 point something now. I guess she's 404. We're really hoping Candy gets um, under 400 for her birthday, which is in a few weeks. I don't know. I will find the way. I will find the way. And I know people scream at me, you know, do the therapist and the dietitian and all this stuff and it's like you know what while I'm at a point in my life right now where I can I'm lucky if I'm gonna be able to you know function much longer <laughs> on my own you know it's not the time <laughs> it's not the time oh lordy I mean and if y'all think I'm full of shit go check out the uh, social blade right now yeah, I mean, they're underreporting just a little bit, but, you know. Oh, Lord have mercy. 
Okay, I'm just going to leave my final thoughts, especially about not going to a therapist, not going to a doctor. Right now, those are choices for her. Um, I think if she had not started to turn things around when she had, those choices would have been taken from her. And by that, I mean she would have been in a hospital somewhere um, being cared for because there was would have been some catastrophic event not saying that it's out of the woods right now um but i do want to know she mentions her income there i do want to know if she did get her insurance updated she was supposed to do that at the beginning of this health journey um but yeah girl you need to you need to see a doctor and get that blood work taken care of uh find out where you stand with diabetes see a dietitian if you don't want to do it you know they suggest and do it your way, that's fine. Um, but something might click, something might agree with you. That's it for me. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Bye y'all.